Got the tower cam pointed to the west here where the skies are clear. If you were to look the other direction, you'd see some cloud coverage. They're going to work out of the area overnight tonight. We're in the upper 60s with a north breeze at eight miles per hour. You can see the clouds. Tower cams looking this way. Got clouds looking toward the Gulf of Mexico. These are going to work their way out of here during the overnight hours. Winds have calmed down a little bit. It was fairly breezy with the front passing through today, but they are out of the north at five to 10 miles per hour. 60s and low 70s area wide. And without the cloud coverage and winds settling down, temperatures will dip into the upper 30s and lower 40s overnight tonight in the wake of the front that's now in the Gulf of Mexico. Same one that passed through here this morning. You see all the clear air over Texas here to heading into the evening. This is all being brought in by a big upper level disturbance in the northern plains tonight and all this dry air is working right into south texas going to set us up for a beautiful monday of weather and then this feature working down the california coastline will deliver our next chance for rain heading into the new year so monday looks great high pressure is going to be set up in northern texas going to be a sunny delight for monday this stays fairly close to us on tuesday but look at the cloud coverage start to increase and the rain is going to be lurking close. It'll be over the valley Tuesday afternoon. It will be rainy there on New Year's Eve as this feature starts to work into Mexico. It's going to send in some lift and additional moisture, and it's going to make for a rainy New Year's Day. I think we're going to start out 2020 on the wet foot so to speak, uh, with maybe an inch of rain across the area as this system works toward our direction. Another feature coming in from the Rocky Mountain West. These two are going to merge together as we head into Thursday, and this one's going to send a front. We'll keep the rain chances in here on Thursday. Both of these then work out of here, and by Friday and the first weekend of the new year, the weather looks great around here, but we do have some rain to get through. We'll tally up about a quarter of an inch inland to a half inch to maybe an inch or more as you get closer to the coast. This is through Thursday and the best chance for the rain will peak on Wednesday. It'll start New Year's Eve late at night. If you're out late, may catch a few showers, but the best shot looks to be on Wednesday. We'll clear up overnight. Temperatures will sag into the upper 30s and lower 40s by first thing tomorrow morning. Full sunshine, mid 60s here tomorrow afternoon. Clouds on the increase Tuesday. And look at the rain starting to filter in from the south and west. This is New Year's Eve, 4 p.m. I'm going to keep us dry until about the time the clock strikes midnight heading into 2020. We are going to see more clouds. The activity should stay fairly isolated 55 as we head toward the midnight hour and there will be again a little chance for some rain, but the best shot will come in on Wednesday tonight. 43 clearing up north wind at 6 to 12 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be a sunny delight for Monday with a high of 66. It will be a little chilly in the morning, but mild in the afternoon. On the Allenometer, we're going to register a nine here for tomorrow. Does look like a pretty good day. And on the seven day outlook, Wednesday, not looking very nice here. We are going to have some rain here, and it does look to stick around for Thursday. And then a weak front Thursday night sets us up for a beautiful weekend ahead. More three news at 530 on a Sunday after this.